Oh my gosh, today is a very exciting day and I'm kind of freaking out. Hi everyone, so today I got a really huge shipment to my house and I wanna go through it with you guys because it means a lot to me and it's really important to me and I just wanna share it with you. So if you know me at all and you've been following me at all, you know that I have a Netflix original series called Haters Back Off. We did two seasons, but we are not doing any more seasons. So the production company contacted me and said, hey, we gotta get rid of all this stuff, all the sets, the house that Miranda grew up in, all of the costumes, all the props, everything, they're getting rid of it all. I said, can you send me some of the stuff just cause I put my whole life into this show and so I want to keep some of the props. So they sent me so much stuff and I haven't gone through it yet and I want to go through it with you. So join me as we reminisce haters back off and just what a wonderful time it was in my life. I'm so sad it's over. If you guys want to know why the show is canceled and my feelings on that, I did post a video called My Experience with Netflix. You can watch that and get all the information. I will say I'm going to post this video and then I'll probably post one more video because I have a lot of behind the scenes footage that I never posted that I really want to. There'll probably be that video coming eventually as well. And then I probably won't be making any more Haters Back Off videos. But it was just such a big part of my life. I've seen some people be like, stop talking about it, get over it. But I'm like, it was 10 years of my life. You can't really tell someone to just forget and move on from something that was a third of their life. So um, yeah, that's why I talk about it so much. And that's why it's such a big deal to me. This is gonna be emotional. This is exciting. Eric Stocklin is here today, which is exciting. I'm happy he's here because I know I got the bike, the ice cream bike, and I know that means a lot to him. He'll enjoy that. Let's get started. Let's look. I can't speak English. I'm so excited. Corey, are you excited? I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let me put on my furs. Dana, 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 Dana. Oh my god. Let's do this. I have a knife. I'm ready to cut open all the stuff. Eric, <laughs> Eric Stockton is here. He's going to cut open the bike. How do you hand someone a knife? How do you hand someone a knife? It's a handle. That's how you handsome the knife? You know. Okay. Here, take a knife. Yeah. Take a knife. <laughs> oh my god! And the baby bike is in there too. Oh, she had a baby on the way here. It's, uh... it's gonna be crying. <laughs> Look, they they did such a good job. Our props team they made it like this is not actual rust. It's not actual rust. This was like brand new when they showed it to us, but they made it look old. We had an incredible props and set deck team that like made it look amazing. And they made this, uh, the baby bike from scratch. I have a little sign that says 50 cents on it. Really? Oh, that. I'm dying. Well, now I can actually start my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta take it, you gotta pack it around. What's in here? Oh my God! <laughs> the Chia heads. Oh, Bethany's wrist brace. What even is this? I think they just gave me everything. It's like, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? I just couldn't bear the thought of it all going in the trash. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna give this to Christopher. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. There's so much stuff. Oh my gosh, they sent everything. It's a picture frame of me on. The breakable frame, because when Patrick, they had a different frame for when Patrick threw the picture down in episode, season two, episode eight. We had a frame that had to break easily. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Hmm. This picture frame is so good. The props department did such a good job finding like the tackiest frame. I think this is mostly pictures and stuff, obviously. Oh, and here's with the snails on it. So the props department was so amazing. I saw this, this whole video is just gonna be going. <laughs> the props department was so amazing, but they were. They had props show and tells where they would show me, pick every different type of picture frame and let me pick. Snails even, I picked out each individual snail shell to glue onto this thing. Like they were so patient and so wonderful to work with. But these chia heads were in like every scene. These are like, I Iconic. This is so crazy. Oh, it's everybody's paintings. That's so, I think this, this is so funny. I literally was like, hey, can you send me like one or two of the paintings? And they sent me the whole box. I know these are, these are the drawings that are on Miranda's wall in her room. Oh my God, this makes me cry. To everyone on, online, on Twitter and stuff is like, get over it. Like, I'm never gonna be over this. Like, it's really sad. Like, I really, really love this show. And it's like happy tears too, because it's really wonderful memories, but it's just so crazy. Because like someone might look at this and just be like, oh, it's just like a random piece of art on the wall. But like me, 
I think about everything that went into this, so like, when we are designing like the set and the art, we are designing everything. I sent them pictures from my whole life. And this is something I painted when I was like 18 or 19 one night. I remember like in the middle of the night I was painting it. And it's in the background of my Genie in a Bottle music videos, Miranda, that I made like nine years ago. And the art department was so awesome. They like recreated everything they saw on all the old Miranda videos and they put it on the wall. So I remember walking on set the first time and seeing this and being like, oh my God, they recreated paintings I did when I was like 18. Every single one of these things isn't just like, oh, it's a painting that was on a wall. It's like, there's so many memories behind every single thing on that set. Five days plan. <laughs> there's so many versions of it. We have like hundreds and hundreds of these because we draw them. We have Steve draw them. And, oh my God. <gasps> this is from season two, episode two. Like my taco costume. This one. Again, like, I don't just see like, oh, this was in episode two. Like my mind goes like, I remember when we were writing this episode and my brother, Christopher, drew on the back of a script what he wanted this to look like. And we sent it to the costume designer she didn't quite understand at first because it's weird. And so then we made a prototype of it with a Barbie doll in the writer's room. We made this. And then I went up to Canada and they had made the life-size version of it for me to wear. Oh my god, and look how messed up it got. It was beat up. How cool. We would have wanted to use this somehow. It was sprayed three. with water, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, so I was in this when I was sprayed with the hose with my taco. So this I wore for 12 hours, and I was, was, we had the hose hitting me. It was pouring rain that day, which you can't even tell in the episode. It was pouring rain. I got totally slaughtered with a fire hose in this, and I kept falling and sliding and hitting the ground. But I still have scars on my knees, because my knees just got ripped open and gushed blood. And I didn't even know, because I'm wearing this, so I can't see my knees. So after they yelled cut, all of a sudden, all these people came up and were touching my knees. I was like, why are my knees sting? And it was like just gushing blood, because I like, just took it too far, it's like falling and being a maniac. This thing's kind of heavy and it was like kind of painful to wear all day long. And I would walk around set and be like, we need to make sure we get this shot and we wrap and have my lipstick on and like trying to be taken seriously in this big taco costume. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh my God. Okay. What's inside? Everyone wants to know what's inside. Miranda shirts galore. it up but it's the outfit I wore in the magic show so crazy I wore this one then this shirt I wore when we test drove the float in season one episode seven this one I wore episode seven as well in season one we had doubles of stuff because I had a stunt double that we never really used we did a couple times but this is what I wore on the parade float it's a little like sequin. Wow, I am set for life with Miranda costumes. Oh, this is, I'm stoked on this. This is the dress <gasps> I wore. The dress. In the final episode, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show. The end of season two, I wore this dress. And I loved it. I wore it when they revealed that it was me. You can't even really see me because the TV screen is so like blurry and stuff. This is the outfit I wore. Final episode, <gasps> my hug Patrick outside. My life, my rules. We put a lot of thought into every single outfit, why she was wearing it in every single scene. And Corey helped me pick out this outfit because the final episode is just so sad. And she's yelled at by her dad. Her dad's like very verbally abusive. And her life, she's lost her family, she's lost her home, she's lost her dreams, and she's lost everything. So to put her in this drab, gross brown that just washed me out and made me look so pathetic with like a dumb saying like, my life, my rules, but her life is just a mess. Like, put a lot of thought into every single outfit that I wore. I love all the applique sweaters. Yeah. I helped in all of those. Yeah, he helped pick out all the different um, designs and um, he actually, Corey handpicked all the designs for all the different like sweaters I wear in season two. Uh, here's some sweatpants. We got my colorful shirts. We've got the um, hat sweater. Fabulous one, this is from, I didn't get it out. This is from episode one. I got it, I remember the day we shot, I got this in my trailer, and there were like jewels and diamonds here and here and here, and I ripped them off to make it look more crusty because I thought it looked too good. Pad skirt. This one is amazing. It's literally made of pad. So in episode four of season two, when I'm doing the fashion show at the hospital, we got to be really creative and like make costumes out of all the hospital supplies. And the costume designer was like really excited about this one. She was like, can I please make the 80s look? And she made it with sanitary pads. The gloves I wore were like, it's like gauze. But there's so many details on all these costumes that it just, no one would even notice just watching the episode. Oh my God, the Annie costume. 
Crazy. Aww. Like each one of these, like if you look in here, I see such specific memories with each individual item. Like this green jacket I wore my first day on set ever in character. It was day two of filming, my first day shooting, and it was the first scene I shot anything and it was in this green jacket. And it was raining, pouring rain on me and Eric and I was on the phone with Ben Stiller in that scene. And it's like every single one of these jackets is like bringing every single costume piece. It's like my mind just goes, it, it explodes with memories. What are these? They sent me stuff I didn't even use. Skirts for Bethany. Oh my God, they even gave me extra material that they made the skirts out of. Okay, I remember this. Um, this one was one I wanted to wear, but we just couldn't find an episode for me to be in it. But you can bet your butt, I'm going to cut this and make a crop top out of it and wear it for real. Like I'd rather use them, you know what I mean? Like I'd rather cut these things up and like make them usable that I could wear, right? Random grandma sweaters. But like, wouldn't that be cute as like a crop top or no? You said no, you think it'd be ugly? <laughs> he doesn't want you to wear the grandma. Well, too bad. Going shopping, honey. Like, yeah. come on, that, you don't like that? <laughs> I like that. I'm totally gonna make these crop tops right now. I'm gonna need to have this. Yeah, that one's mine. Fishies. You have to have that. This box is like my mamma jam. There's so much good stuff in here. These cats are so cute. So in every single costume, by the way, how they do this is they put a picture of you wearing it so they know how it looks. And then they put like the character name, the actor, what change it is, what day it is in the script, what episodes you wear it in. So much work goes into every single costume on a set. And then on the back of this, there's even more information, like exactly what the sweater is, what the pants are, what the shoes are, what the socks are, every single thing that I'm wearing in this episode, in this scene. But everyone loved this shirt because they called it the nipple shirt because I liked it because it was like Happy Meal to Miranda is meats, <laughs> like how dumb. But when I wear it, it looks like these are nipples. With the first time Miranda and Patrick meet, season one, episode one, this is what I'm wearing when I come outside of the hospital. Oh no, no, it's not. This one I wear in episode three. Oh yeah, three. Yeah, this is the one I wore the first scene with you. Notice we picked like the grossest colors that are like drab and... Yes, yes. We had the umbrella over me. This is my favorite. That was the first day we all worked together. It was before they cut my hair. My hair was like four inches longer than it was on the show. Before we started shooting. It was a day I, like Francesca showed up this day. We just immediately started taking pictures. That picture frame is so bad. He's gonna be so happy. Eric just left to go get a bike pump for the bike. I think he might've been a little bit sad when we went through all the boxes and there's no Patrick costumes. So he's going to flip when he sees this because there's nothing for Patrick really here. He's gonna be so excited. Why is there tissue paper in it? The wrist brace that Miranda thought was Bethany and ultimately threw into the back of SpaghettiOs. I cut one of the, the shirts I found in one of the boxes. So this is something that the, they had pitched to me to wear. It was like one of the mini costumes. They're like, hey, would Miranda wear this? And I didn't really think she would, but they sent it to me anyway. It's really cozy. I cut it into a crop. And so that's something that's exciting is that like, I am keeping all of the sweaters and everything and I'm gonna cut a lot of them into crop tops and like wear a lot of the bigger ones with like leggings and like wear the stuff I actually wore on the show. I don't know, I can't really explain how it feels. Like I, I can't explain it. And I know I'm being sappy and corny and like none of you guys wanna see someone just cry over props <laughs> but it just means so much to me that I can't really explain in words like every single prop like I have so many memories with I said this in the video where I'm talking about the show not continuing and then when I talk about my experience with Netflix but like when you go through a box of stuff that belonged to someone who passed away I know that sounds really dramatic and I don't mean it to sound dramatic but that's the only thing I can relate it to because when my grandparents passed away they were like my best friends I was really really close to my grandparents so when they passed and I got to sit down and like go through their their stuff and decide if I got to keep anything. Like we we're, I got to keep some of my grandma's cooking stuff. I got to keep a sweater for my grandpa. But the feeling of going through things that belong to someone that you know you'll never see again is kind of how I feel. And I know it sounds dramatic and you guys like no one can relate to that and doesn't make any sense, but that's how it feels. I'm going through things that belong to Patrick and Uncle Jim and Bethany and I never get to be around them again. It's really weird, <laughs> but I'm so grateful that I get to keep it and have it and remember the experiences. And I know, I'm, I already know all the comments are gonna be how about how I'm being dramatic and like get over it and how ungrateful I am, but I'm, it is so the opposite. I am so grateful and that's why there are tears. Like I cannot believe it happened and I'm so grateful my dreams came true and I got to make this show, but it's just really, it's hard to uh, know I never get to do it 
this show again. Now I am working on other projects and doing other things. I'm so excited to show you guys those things and um, I'm so excited to hopefully get to do other TV shows and hopefully get to do other movies and other fun things. But I cannot, I know there will never be another project I work on ever again that I'll feel this connected to and this close to. Miranda is part of my life and I've been doing Miranda for 10 years and she feels like a part of me but also doesn't even feel like me. It feels like a different person. So to know that like I'll never be in Miranda's house again. I'll never be on set with all those people and like do scenes with them. It's just such a weird feeling and I can't explain it. So yeah, I'm very emotional and this is a very emotional surprise. Yeah, so that's how I feel right now. So it's just really sad. My hero! What? You got a bike pump thingy. So we can uh, pump up the bikes. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it probably was maybe boring for all of you, but it was emotional and exciting for me to see all this stuff. And I'm so grateful that I got to keep all this stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I feel so lucky. And I'm so grateful I got to do it at all. And my tears are mostly just because I'm remembering all the wonderful memories I got to have on set because of you guys, because you made this happen for me. I'm so, so grateful. And just what a cool journey I got to go on. Thank you. But we're going to pump up the wheels to this thing and we're gonna take it for a ride. See you next time. Thank you.